Hey guys, Just here. It's been a while since we've had a boat on the channel. This boat here is a pretty special one. It's a Pro Boat Formula Fast Tech. And I've been looking for one of these for probably about two years now. And I absolutely love the scale looks of this boat, guys. This is like the ultimate speed boat. It's already brushless, it's already water cooled. Um, it's a deep V. It's the first deep V boat that I've ever owned. So I'm pretty excited to run it. I got this boat a few months ago, probably back in July. And uh, it's about two degrees here now. And it's almost winter. So I figure it's probably time we get this boat running and get it in the water uh, before everything's all frozen up. So let's go and have a quick look at it. Um, there is a little bit of rust on it. I'm not sure if it was run through salt water, but um, other than that, everything looks to be in pretty good condition. Not crazy about the graphics. We may look at maybe re removing this vinyl in the future, maybe just having it white or painting it, uh, painting it up. But um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So let's have a look at it in the inside here. Okay, before we look at the inside, I just kind of want to do a comparison with the Traxxas Villain. Now, like I said, I do love this Formula Fast Tech. It's a bit smaller than what I originally thought based on the pictures and the videos I've seen. It's a little bit narrower. It is, Like I said, it is a deep V. I just have it here next to the Traxxas Villain. And um, I mean, I love both of these boats, guys. I love scale speed boats. They're probably my favorite. Um, brushed or brushless, really. Um, but just looking at the two here together, I kind of wish the Pro Boat was a little bit bigger, like the Villain. But just give you an idea here. So, this is all taken off, obviously, but um, this one was a dual brushed. Um, and obviously, this one already came brushless out of the box. So, I feel like it was kind of Pro Boat's answer to the Traxxas Villain. But regardless, they're both awesome boats. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys like a side-by-side -side comparison there. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for this one, guys. So let's get the uh, hatch off and take a look inside. So like I said, this is a fiberglass boat. Fiberglass hull, rather. Um, it's got a single brushless motor, water cooled. Um, now when I did get this, like I said, I had to get this used because this boat is now discontinued. Um, they said that there was an issue, there was a hole in the water cooling jacket. Now I'm not sure if I can get it to focus. Not sure what would have caused that. So we're going to have to dig in here, probably remove this motor and uh and put a new water jacket on this motor before we can run it and i'm also going to take a look at this esc and stuff and figure out whether it works or if we want to replace that uh before we run it so just another quick comparison here this is the pro boat velis 29 also a fiberglass hull it's a cat um single single motor brushless same as here so Worst come to worst, we might even just take this motor and ESC out of this boat and put it in here. But I wish, I wish, wish, wish Pro Boat would come out with some more scale boats like this. I know they just came out with the jet, I think it's the jet stream, the one, the six scale jet boat. That's cool and all, but I really do love sort of one to 10 scale. One, you know, between one to 10, one to eight. Uh, scale, especially scale speed boats. That's really my cup of tea. So I got the cover off here. I'm just looking. There's already a receiver. I think I do have a controller for this. So rather than go and replace everything and, and do all the work, I just kind of want to put some batteries to this thing and we'll test it and see if it works first. If not, then we'll look at seeing about maybe putting that ESC and this motor in there. Um, and obviously we want to get that shaft out and uh, get everything greased up as well. Okay, so moment of truth here. We're just going to test everything as it came. So we got this on, got our batteries plugged in there. 
I'm just gonna try turning this on, see what happens. Hmm, okay. So we got no steering. Usually the first thing you test when you turn the boat on is the steering. We'll just try a little throttle here, maybe. All right, guys, so as you just saw there, we got no steering and um, we have no reverse for some reason. So I think I'm gonna start by replacing the servo and I'm probably gonna try a different receiver as well. And we'll see if we can get reverse. If not, we may have to look at replacing the ESC as well. Um, but I wanna try doing the servo and the receiver first and then we'll do another test and then we'll look at the ESC and motor. Okay guys, I just have a standard servo out of one of the crawlers and it is a bit too big for this thing. And I don't really want to modify this boat at all. So I think what we might have to do, this is the one that came out of it. You can see it's a little bit smaller. So I think what we might actually do is we have our Velus 29 here. I might just steal this servo out of here for today. All right, we got the servo in. I did have to do a little bit of trimming. But guys, what I'm thinking is that where I have no way of programming this ESC, I have no idea if it's set up for NICAD or LiPo. Um, also, I did find out that this ESC has no reverse. So I think just to be safe, I think I wanna swap it out for this Dynamite one from the Velus 29. Oh, it is a lot more scale and I think I'll get a lot more enjoyment and use out of this. So I'm gonna take all this out. We're probably gonna swap the motor as well. So I'm gonna start taking all this stuff out. I'm actually really excited. This was not the original plan for this boat, guys. So I'm actually pretty excited. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking all this out, start getting everything out of the Velus 29. Well guys, I was all excited to get the ESC out of the Velus 29 and put it in our Probo Fast Tech. I was uh, cutting off the zip ties with my X-Acto knife and I accidentally cut this wire. So I'm just doing a little surgery here. Gonna uh, put my soldering skills to the test. I'm gonna get this soldered up, put a heat shrink on it. Hopefully that will do the trick. And then we can get this in our Formula Fast Tech. It's gonna be sweet guys. Okay, so we got both motors out. Um, they're pretty similar. Um, you can see how this one is pretty flat. It's got a 90 degree angle there. This one is a bit of an angle, so we are going to have to remove, we're gonna swap these two plates. Um, we're gonna put this plate on the dynamite motor, which we're gonna install in our Pro Boat Fast Tech. Pretty excited guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these motor plates swapped out. All right, so now we got the dynamite motor. The uh, This is a motor from the Velus 29. And we got the mount from our Pro Boat Fast Tech. So this thing's ready to go in the boat, guys. But before I do that, I want to get the flex shaft out and greased. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to loosen one of these screws so we can turn this. And uh, we're going to take this assembly out and we're going to grease our flex shaft get that all in there and then uh, get our motor installed. Just pull right out. All right guys, so I'm just gonna slide this right in here like so. All right, yeah, this is looking really good so far. So slide that in, holes are lining up nice. All right, so we're gonna get this mounted in. We'll get our collet tightened up and uh, we'll get our water cooling lines plugged in. We should be good to go. Okay guys, we got the motor all mounted in. We got our water cooling all hooked up. We got our ESC. We got dual 2S batteries in here. Everything's all hooked up. Just gonna give it a test. This thing is gonna be a beast. It's got a 2000 kV motor running on 4S. 
Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get this thing out in the water, guys. So hopefully this all works out. I do need to get um, longer motor wires so that we can move the ESC kind of back here or even up in this area. It's just uh, my motor wires were kind of short, so I had to set it there. Normally, I probably have a battery here and a battery there. I'm going to have to get some battery straps as well. I noticed um, there was no strap, so I might get some, some Velcro or something for now just to hold these batteries so they're not flying all around. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this, guys. All right, now guys, this thing is running awesome. It just feels so good. It feels healthy. It sounds good. It handles well. Nice rooster tail. Okay guys, well I had a ton of fun with this boat. Uh, my batteries are getting low. I'm gonna call this one. But um, this, this setup is amazing. This boat with this motor and ESC combination on 4S is absolutely awesome, guys. But um, I'm going to leave this one here. So just like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.